This morning we arrived in Maui to meet our friend and fellow photographer, Michael Gilbert. He's lived here for the past 30 years. He has promised to take us around the island that he calls home and give us a local perspective. I have a friend, Jungle John, who I met when I first came to the island, and we used to go on walks together. Of course, we always wanted to go where there was never anybody else. If you don't fall in the river and the waterfall doesn't get you, the rain might, right? right. This is a two-way road, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things where everybody says, sure, yeah, I'd love to go to a hidden waterfall, but they don't understand that there could be consequences. Here we are, Ken. Yeah. Road to Hana. Road to Hana. Bamboo forest. Bamboo forest, secret waterfall. Living the life. Living the dream. I have a real surprise for Andre and Ken. You have to do a little walk that's uh, pretty difficult uh, along a little narrow terrace. Then you wind up uh, in a bamboo forest. Then you have to enter the stream and walk in the stream. What we'll do is when you're ready, just follow me. Okay, I'm going to go up and around this way. We ended up walking through this river, about chest high deep in water, scrambling over rocks, underneath logs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm carrying a few thousand dollars worth of electronics for this photo shoot. So that made me a little nervous walking across those very slippery rocks. One splash and the shoot is completely over. The waterfall in this location, the local folks say it's the mana. Uh, it's like the soul of the island. It's like stepping back in time and something private and pristine. This is where she's going to do the hula. And my particular angle is going to be right behind me. You see at this time of light, another 10 minutes, come over the top and give us that hint of a backlight. Well, hula for the Hawaiians is a language. Uh, there was never any written language in Hawaii and it was only spoken. The hula was uh, like a storytelling and that's how the Hawaiians with their chants they could document their lineage. You really feel the relationship to the earth and the movement and gestures they make with such control is just a powerful experience to witness. Especially in such a beautiful location. Something I tell my students all the time is don't take so many pictures. So I broke my own rule. The reason that this location is so great is that the scale of the waterfall and the background relative to the hula dancers is proportionate. If the scale wasn't right, uh, the picture wouldn't look nearly as good. It was happening so fluidly and so beautiful and the light was perfect. It was one of those days, uh, almost I'd use the word divine. Another day at the office. <laughs> right, right. Tough one. Fresh coconuts. <laughs> right, right. Fresh coconuts. Mmm. I think we deserve it. They put a little rum in that. You get all kinds of things. You can have coconuts if you need coconuts. Play a tune yeah. if you want. We can. I think that's not your size, I think you need bigger ones. Yeah, you can tell if they're ripe, you can kind of sniff the bottom. I would suggest you try, um, what they'll do is they'll open a big green coconut for you, uh, for some coconut water. See how good she is with the machete. Okay, here you go. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's my coconut. I love doing portfolio reviews. I think that's one of the things I enjoy because it's almost you become kind of like a psychiatrist because mm -hmm. when I look at your work, I, I know who you are right. by, your, by, by the work. And that's why it all goes around. I want to see your range. Mm -hmm. I want to see, you know, if you're kind of like stay safe most of the time, which safe is probably a bad word. It's just that it's a comfort zone. Um, it's not easy to push somebody out of that. You know, Ken, you should have uh, Michael review your portfolio. 
they have to put a portfolio. <laughs> yeah, right, together. right. It's so, it's so all, <laughs> yeah. all over the map. So if Ken has an eclectic portfolio, I'm way more happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> because it shows me he has range. Right. What are you capable of doing? Where are, you, where are those parameters? And when it comes to the camera, put it in P for professional and press the goddamn button. Right. right. Today, Michael's booked a portrait shoot with a friend of his, Tom, who is a world famous sculptor. Welcome to Tom's. Every couple of months, I show up at Tom's and I, I redo his portrait, which I've been doing now for 25 years. He's a sculptor, he's a painter, he's a photographer, and a videographer. Now you know why it's Mutt and Jeff, right? Yeah. That's <laughs> it's clear. Okay, who are you? I am Ken Hubbard. Ken? Yep. And Andre Costantini. Ken and Andre. Yep. I'm going to start off and do Tom's portrait in the archives. So this is where Tom's negatives are. The idea for the archives is that's his whole life is in there. And uh, that's where having that 15 millimeter lens, ultra wide angle. And as long as I keep him straight in the center, I won't distort him. So I'm going to try to get the entire room and all his archives all in one shot. Right. That's sort of, to me, his life all encapsulated all in one thing. See, so he's got his chair and he's got his book, so he's ready. Open it to the one that has that white page. That'll be a little more of a reflector. Now, now just give me that little glint. Just those, 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 head, yeah. Now, just the eyes only, right into, right, just, just bring the eyes like you can see me. Yeah, like I'm bad. He's been very bad. He's so bad, he's good. <laughs> this is one of my favorite shots. Oh, yeah, let's see. This, is, this shot got me in big trouble in uh, Venice. The police were called, <laughs> and we had to <laughs> make a fast getaway. And Tom is going to do Olivia's portrait, but then I'm going to photograph, do Tom's portrait, photographing Olivia. We'll roam around quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you think yesterday was something, uh, and you know what yin and yang is, we did the yin, now we're going to do the yang. It's going to be just as exciting, more so, but totally different. Uh-oh. So we took portraits of Michael taking portraits of Tom taking portraits. We may wind up doing 10 different locations in the span of 45 minutes. So it's just hit and run, hit and run, hit and run, and all the little unusual things that happen along the way. And he gets an idea, and you can see that his spontaneous inspiration is what makes the whole experience a lot of fun. Today's shoot was all over the map. Now we go to the garage to okay. the uh, park. So we had no idea what was going to happen next. Then Tom had the idea to put the models on a forklift and drive it around the property, which is totally random and surreal. And then he presses the button and now the two models are starting to get risen high in the air and then off he goes driving. It was just sort of a, you know, one of those magic moments that only Tom likes to pull out of the hat. And there he is with one hand out the side and one hand on the steering wheel capturing images all the way. Perfect reflector, we don't need anything else. <laughs> And with its moisture-resistant construction, <laughs> Michael had no problem shooting the Tamron 15 to 30 in the rain. <laughs> We're not worried about the lens, right? Right. Come on, in the rain, in the rain. This is how you lose all those cameras. Okay, we're done. Michael Bailey is in town. Uh, Michael Bailey was the founding member of Greenpeace. Oh, really? And he's the guy that got in between a whaling ship on the west coast that was harpooning a whale. And the whale was in between Canada and the United States, really close to the border. They couldn't figure out who was going to arrest him. Was it going to be the Americans or the Canadians? <laughs> but they both wanted to arrest him. So he's in town, and he uh, asked if we had a moment uh, to do a quick portrait of him. Uh, and there's a place on the way back that's close to the aquarium where they have these giant windmills. I'm sending Mr. Bailey. Oh, see that big rock outcropping up there, the biggest one? 
He's going to go all the way over there and stand on that. I'll shoot across this way with the uh, 70 to 200, and, and I'll press them right into all the uh, windmills. It's a good shot. Right, right, right spot, right light. Yeah, there's our uh, our soft box came out for us. Can't do any better than that. And the right lens. Yeah, that's it. It's in your hands. It's in your hands, buddy. We got it. Great shot. It's in your hand. So it looks like the windmills were in his hand. A little schmaltzy. But uh, that, that's him, right? You know, that's him. The world's in my hands. So uh, I have no idea. Right, right.